guys and welcome back to another video on the channel. So today we're going to be making my favorite and most famous apple crisp pie. So first I'm going to start by saying the ingredients. So you're going to need eight apples peeled and sliced. You're going to need one and a half cups of brown sugar. You're going to need one cup of flour one cup of oats, one teaspoon of cinnamon, one teaspoon of nutmeg, half a cup of cold butter, and one tablespoon of lemon juice. So that's basically all the ingredients. You're obviously going to need your tools to work with. And let's get started. Okay, so we're going to start with eight apples and let me get a cutting board out. Okay, so you're going to need eight apples and we're going to have to cut and peel them. So, let's get started. So, you have an apple, okay, and what you're going to do is you're going to take it and Take the sticker off because you don't want to cook the sticker. Um, so what you're going to want to do first is you're going to want to grab one handy dandy. Uh, I think they're called razors. That's what I call them. Um, they're not real razors, but razors to peel it. So you want to have a trash full with you at all times because... You know, you don't want to peel it and make it a mess because I learned the hard way. So, you're just going to want to start peeling them. And you want to go, you want to get the majority of it um, because it, you, you want to have, you don't want to have any skin in your dessert. At least I don't want to. I mean, you can, but it's not the most delicious thing. Okay, so you're going to peel the whole thing. Don't worry about the stem or anything because that's going to come next. So you're going to want to peel it. Oh, I forgot to mention. You're gonna to wanna to preheat your oven to 375 um, so that we can bake it at the proper temperature. You can cook it at 350. It's just gonna take like longer. Okay, so, almost done. Okay, so now that we're finished, we're gonna take our cutting board, put our apple down, okay? And you're gonna take your handy dandy knife, don't point it like I did. You're gonna point it down and you're going to cut around the stem, okay? And I think I'm gonna have to ask my staff member what kind of apples we got but um i think they're called oh delicious apples what was it called staff member golden delicious golden delicious apples so yeah sorry about the laughter back there anyway my tax manager can't stop laughing okay um what you're gonna want to do is you're going to keep um, these, you're going to want to cut them until you get a core. So you can just, you know, fling it backwards. Um, so now that we've done that, you're going to do that for all the apples until you get a result kind of like this. 
Yes, it's magic. I got eight apples cut in two minutes. Okay. Anyway. So, now that you're going to do it, you're going to move them all onto a bigger platform. Bring your knife with you. If you're walking with it and there's people in the kitchen, you know, knives away. Okay. So now that you have it, you want to scoot them all to one side. Woohoo! And what you're going to want to do, I have to get my recipe up. Okay. So you're going to want to take each apple and cut them nicely. Okay. You want to make them small pieces because that's because uh, they're, they're going to look that way. Kind of like baked cinnamon apples. So you're going to take a big bowl like this one. It doesn't have to be this big. just needs to be able to fit your apples. You're going to want to put them your apples into the bowl and I'll show you why in a second. So we're just going to keep on cutting them. Um, so I found this recipe in a Cub Scouts um, book and I thought hey I might as well make it and so I made it once and it turned out to be delicious. And so I put it in paprika. That's my um, cooking recipe, whatever you can call it. Um, and it's marked as one of my favorites. Um, so our grandparents are coming over tonight. So I decided, hey, can I make this? My parents said, yes. So here I am making it in front of cameras. So anyway, back to cooking. Um, so you're gonna keep on cutting it and you can cut as long as you want as the pieces or you can cut them really short. It doesn't really matter. So I'm gonna, ha I have to cut these smaller because they're just a little big. So there's no measurement of how many apples are needed. It just says eight apples, which I don't really like because it doesn't, um, it doesn't really have a specific amount of cups. Um, so, you're just gonna keep on cutting them. And it's okay if they're brown because we're gonna put them in lemon juice, which is going to help them um, not brown as much because we don't want them to brown too much or else they go bad because, you know, that can turn out to be ugly. So, I'm almost done. I'm trying to cut as fast as I can. So, you can give this to your family members. You can just, you know, sneak in the middle of the night and just grab a slice. Um, put some vanilla ice cream on it, which is very good. Um, so, or you can, you know, um, just eat it during Christmas, Easter, Thanksgiving, or, you know, just have the whole thing to yourself, which I don't really mind doing that, but anyway, okay. So we're almost done here. 
And it doesn't really matter how fast you can cut because the faster you cut, you can cut yourself, which isn't really good. Okay, now that we're done, we can move this and now, here, let me move this out of the way. Okay, now that we have our apples in the bowl, as you can see, we're gonna take our lemons. And so, we're going to take one tablespoon, wait, one time, um, yes, one tablespoon of lemon juice, or just a tad squeeze. It doesn't have to be a perfect tablespoon, but, you know, I like perfectness, so. You're just gonna squeeze the lemon all around so that you get, you know, the juice everywhere. So now I'm gonna grab a spoon and you're gonna mix it so that they get all good. So now that you think they're really good mixed, now you're going to spray the 13 by nine dish with cooking spray. It can be avocado spray, it can be olive oil, it can be MCT. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my hand and you know, spread it around the edges and make sure it just gets well coated. Okay, so now we're gonna spread the apples at the bottom of the dish. Oh yeah. Now that we've done that, spread them out. And now we're going to take another bowl, y'all. And you can set the dish aside. So now we're going to get a, another bowl. And what we're going to do is we're going to mix one cup of flour, okay? It can be all purpose flour. Well, it has to be all purpose flour. But if you don't have it, it's okay. You can use whatever works best. So, I'm just gonna add that. And next, we're gonna add one cup of oats, okay? One cup of oats. And then we're going to add one teaspoon, okay? One teaspoon of nutmeg and cinnamon. So, that once again, that's one teaspoon of nutmeg and cinnamon. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add it. Okay, and now nutmeg.
Okay. So now that that's done, let's get that stuff aside. It should look a bit like this. You should only see oats right now because we just put them in. But we're going to put half a cup of butter. Okay. You can just grab a stick of butter. And if you see, you're going to do half a cup of butter. Okay, so apparently I just read it and it's the whole thing. So we're just going to add this whole thing in. And oh my goodness gracious, we got to add our brown sugar. Okay, so you're going to add a cup. Well, first let's add a cup. And you're going to want to pat that down so it's heavy. And you're going to want to do half a cup again. And now we're going to mix it together until it's crumbly. Okay, so right now it should look really good and you want to not, you don't want to use a mixer because it could ruin it, which you don't want to happen. Okay, so now scrape it off. Until it's crumbly. Okay, so now that it's crumbly, what are you gonna wanna do? You're gonna take your dish and you're gonna wanna spread it out on top. And then shake it so it's even. Shake it up, shake, shake it up. Okay, so now that it's done, Get one corner. Okay, now that it's done, what we're gonna do is you're just gonna put it in the oven and you're gonna bake it for 35 minutes until it's nice and golden brown. After that, you can serve it and put a scoop of vanilla ice cream and enjoy. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and have a good day.